Fire tube boiler is used in small heating applications. Air is mixed with fuel and ignited by the burner. Air is forced by using a blower. The flame out of the burner is inside of a corrugated tube. This is why it is called a fire tube boiler. Water is placed in a huge shell. Heat is transferred from exhaust gases inside the tube to water. At the end of the tube, exhaust gases is still very hot. So we usually put a number of tubes and a reverse chamber to give more of the energy stored in the exhaust to the water. This is called a two bath heat exchanger. If we put another reverse chamber or also called smoke box and another group of tubes, this is called a three bath heat exchanger. Flame tube is placed at a lower level to enhance natural convection. The flame tube is corrugated to allow some expansion to take place and acts like a spring and also to make turbulence and enhance heat transfer coefficient and to increase the surface area of heat transfer. Fire tube boilers are classified according to the type of the reverse chamber. It may be a dry pack where the reverse chamber is not surrounded by water or a wet pack in which the reverse chamber is surrounded by water. Dry back design is good from the point of easy maintenance, but it is bad from the point of heat transfer. The opposite is true for the wet pack design. There is a limitation on the pressure inside the fire tube boiler because the pressurized fluid is water and steam, which is placed inside the huge shell, and according to the circumferential stress equation, the pressure should be small because the diameter of the shell is very large and shell is made using rolling and it is very hard to roll huge thickness metal sheets so pressures inside fire tube boiler is small.